Boston! Good news, good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo! Dámelo! Besito! Besito! Don't be so conventional. Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. That's save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you for all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón, go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Come, my friend. It is time to bring this man to justice. Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this land. Levanten esta pizza, mierda! Levántenlo! Maston, hey! Marston, <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience, because you're about to meet God. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if we don't get your robes off. Over here, I will free you.
Today, we have proven that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, again they will know justice. My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free! Let us make it so! Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Oye, gringo, come here. You think you can shoot, do you? Why don't you prove it? Oye, te podría matar con los ojos cerrados. Someone needs to teach you some respect. If it ain't me, it's someone else. The word in your ear, old boy. It's a battle. Can I... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with Dagos. Up to here. A savages. Well, I do what I can to help, but this land was imagined by an angry god for an angry people. <laughs> well, America ain't exactly a peaceful paradise, mister. Well, um, I tried, but, but at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot, my god, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. Why didn't you? Uh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? Now, there's, there's some fighting broken out there. Uh, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Name's Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. Oh, they'll know of me in no Salida. How much? Plenty, sir, plenty. Uh, now you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> 
Try to give those dagos hell, what? <laughs> oh, that's a fine fellow. Sorry about this, partner. I mean no disrespect. Señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people, for these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, 
The movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on, the army convoy is already on its way. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We're going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vamos, the law is where to place it. Very one right here. Another one here. Here. Here's good. And the last one here. Don't meet Luisa at the detonator. We will handle the rest. Coming. Get ready, John. Abraham is counting on us. We cannot disappoint him. Look, they are coming.
Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. I need it more than you now. That's one. two men and destroy that rebel camp.
aquí, imbécil! ¿Por qué no me sigues? Gracias. You're a friend to Mexico. Here's a little money, a sign of my gratitude. Now we must leave. Are you the foreman, mister? I got a package for you from a Mr. Tollitz. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. What was the delay? Trouble over in Nasalita. Army or rebels? <laughs> Politics, my friend, is for fools. Which is why we see so much of it down here. Land of morons. Gets in the way of real work? If you say so. Here's the money for Mr. Tollitz. I'll get this to the workers right away. That's quite a sum. <laughs> Must be valuable stuff. You have no idea, Gringo. No idea. If you would have known, you would have kept it all yourself. Partner, howdy. Forgive me, sir.
movilizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura para que los flancos del este y el oeste... Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexican Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Yeah. Libre Mexico! Yeah. Mexico! Libre Mexico! 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 Viva la revolución! Their energy is, 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 uh, is like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, yeah, when, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so, you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, mio, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. <laughs> Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Vámonos, mis hermanos. Come on, John, we do not have time to stop. Come on. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best men working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet this William Song and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me? I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten. The good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know, but I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything, in everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. 
Andale! I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and such mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say, a, a, a pope? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel loved. If he is like, oh, watch what you're riding. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez isn't stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the countryside, the best. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen. This train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set off a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Huh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Young. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Young. Basta! Allende es un hombre muerto! Alerta! Alerta!
You move like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. What are you waiting for? We need to get into that armored car. Come on, my friend. Get the hatch open. Is that local?